killed crossing the road. Greg Arcos explains how researchers at one local university are doing their best to rehabilitate, even expand, the Terrapin Diamondback population. Every year, hundreds, if not thousands, go down the Jersey Shore. They're not tourists, but native Terrapin Diamondback turtles. They're seeking high ground to put their eggs above the high tide line. On four legs, trying to dodge traffic. Think of it as real-life Frogger. And if those terrapins don't make it across these busy roads, volunteers scoop them up and bring them to a certain turtle trauma center. These are the fortunate ones. These are alive. John Rokita is the head lab technician at Stockton University's Head Start program. It's been around since the late 1980s and helps hatch and heal terrapins which have been hit by cars, like this female, whose top shell, called a carapace, was cracked. We put it back together just kind of like a jigsaw puzzle, and as long as we don't get any of the, um, the adhesive in between the uh, carapace, the healing area, the healing will go on underneath and eventually the patch will fall off. And hopefully she'll be returned to the wild. But there are many others, more than 600 this summer alone, who have died due to a lengthened and warming nesting season. Those females killed, still brought to the center, their eggs removed and incubated. This was a Atlantic City Boulevard. Uh, it came in DOA, so it came in dead, but she had 10 eggs. John says they've recovered 900 eggs in the past three months. The ones that hatch are brought to a third room, where they're fed, grown, and microtagged before heading back to the county they're from. Bulkheads, uh, cars, roadways through their, their uh, habitat, you know, all take its toll on, on, on the tarpon number. So, yeah, this is just a little way of giving back to hopefully helping these guys out. And John says you can help, too. You just slow down and just take a, a minute or two or a couple of seconds, they'll definitely make their way across. At Stockton University, Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.